So I told so about a week, not today, but about a week ago, I sold my soul. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, ever since I sold my soul, I haven't been happy ever since. You know what I'm saying? Um. Hey, yo, man. Y'all ain't gotta believe me. It is what it is. I, I, like, I'm not even capping. It's because, listen, I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I had to do it because I was trying to make it, like, you feel me? Like, <clears throat> and as of when I was, th like, selling my soul, um, like, there was things that I could sacrifice about and stuff like that, and I sacrificed myself. I could have sacrificed anybody, but like, but when you sell your soul, you gotta sacrifice someone that you really love. And I sacrificed myself and stuff like that. You get know what I'm saying? Um, and I did it. You get know what I'm saying? Um, I couldn't do it with nobody that I love. The demon asked me, uh, you, are you sure you want to sacrifice yourself? You can sacrifice someone that you love? I said, nah. But when you sell your soul, you feel me? You gotta, you gotta, uh, it's not what how people say it is. You, you really gotta, like, you really gotta pick. You understand what I'm saying? And, 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 and you get anything you want. You get to be rich. You get to, you get to be, you get to have fortune. You get to, you have to have everything, everything you ever wanted. You feel me? But you can think I'm cap. I'm not tripping. I did it a week ago. I haven't been happy ever since. I've been having anxiety every single day. What did I wish for? To be famous and be rich. You ain't rich, not yet. <clears throat> so was it worth it? It hasn't been done yet. It takes time. Now I gotta be patient. I got offered twice, twice. I've been offered twice. First time I didn't take it. And when you when you don't sell your soul, you gotta do it original. You gotta do authentic, and um, it was too. I felt like it was too hard. So yeah, I just thought I'd tell y'all, man. We told y'all. This is what they are doing to be in Hollywood for popularity, fame, and riches. No, but the masses threw stones at us, called us all kind of names, said that we're crazy, said how dare you judge them, judge not, least you be judged, quoting scriptures that they know not towards their own destruction. But family, we don't have to expose nothing because now the synagogue of Satan is bluntly telling you from their own lips what they're doing. What you gonna do now, fans? What you gonna do now, O oh sleeping masses? Are you gonna continue to throw stones at us because they coming out now with it? Why? Why are they now coming out telling you exactly what we've been telling y'all from the beginning? You know why? Because the fans don't care anymore. They don't care if these people sold their souls to Satan. They will still remain fans. And once they have accepted these Satanists as their idols, these so-called fans are now part of, of Satan's family. And these puppets are now their idols. See, people, you don't have to bow down before images anymore, like the people of old. 
Images and idols are now lively, living people who have sold their souls, who have sold their souls and denounced Christ as their personal savior, God as their creator, and now they are on the dragon's side. And the Bible predicted this in Genesis 3, that Satan will have his seed, he will have his followers, and fans that follow these people are now becoming Lucifer's followers. And what did God say about making man your idols? Exodus 20 and 3, the Bible said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. And in 1 John 5 and 21, the Bible said, Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. People, idols today are not graven images. There are living people today. And fans have made these people their idols. Even though these people are telling you that they are in this thing to war against God and in their music. It glorifies everything that God hates. It glorifies everything that God will destroy. But you don't want nobody to wake you up. You don't want nobody to wake you out the matrix. It is blessed to you. And their music, they have put spells in. They've put um, spells in their music before they perform it or deliver it out to the great sleeping masses. The masses fall under the power of Satan. Now I wonder we don't have power to fight back the synagogues of Satan that's bringing all these catastrophes into our home, which we call planet Earth, because we all have become weakened through spells and music and movies, cartoons, games, and everything. And when hell burns high, family, these so-called fans, if they refuse to repent and put away these Satanists and their music and their culture, will be in the lake of fire with the dragon and his minions, with the false prophet and with the beast. Peace. Do we have a deal, Mr. Reagan? You know, I know this stake doesn't exist. I know that when I put it in my mouth, the matrix is telling my brain that it is juicy and delicious. After nine years, you know what I realize? <sighs> Ignorance is bliss. Then we have a deal. I don't want to remember nothing. Nothing. You understand? I don't want to be rich. You know, someone important. Like an actor. Whatever you want, Mr. Reagan. Okay. And get my body back in a power plant. Reinsert me into the matrix. I'll get you what you want. Access codes to the Zion mainframe. No, I told you I don't know them. I can get you the man who does. Morpheus.
wake up. I am not a conspiracy theorist. I am a pastor that see the wolves and I am warning you from the rooftop where they at and they right here in front of you. Cut it off. The wicked will receive their reward at the coming of King Jesus. Peace. Thank you.